Hey y'all! Long time no see. Where where has the girl been? I don't know. I don't know where she been, but she been gone and missing. So before my sister got here, I wasn't vlogging. And for the sole purpose of I knew it was gonna be a dead period on my channel, but I knew once my sisters came here, we were gonna be making content. So the video that I'm posting tomorrow is 72 hour vlog, which only came down to 16 minutes, but I am a very particular person when it comes to editing. Like all those, like, if it's not entertaining, baby, it's not making the cut. I'm sorry. Like I need the baddest bitches on the line. I'm gonna put the baddest heifers on the floor. So if it's not the good clips, y'all not seeing them. When I get home, I'm about to make this into a whole video because I need to talk to y'all. I need to update y'all. I need to I need to let y'all in on my life because I know y'all are like, girl, what? Like I had Larry Bell. Shout out to him. Like he's following every social media. Are you following every social media? He's on the spam page. He's on the main account. I don't know if you follow my TikTok. I don't, I'm not sure if he's on TikTok. Not only on the main account, but if you're on the spam account, oh baby, you know. You know, and I'm trying to get more juicier on my spam account, but I just feel like a lot of y'all aren't on my spam account. So it's just like, you know, y'all need to wake up and tap in because my spam account is the place to be. I'm more active on my spam account than I am on here, on any social media. I'm more active on my TikTok. So it goes, I'm more active on my spam account than my TikTok, than my YouTube channel. Okay, because YouTube, it takes more. But I am trying to get on all my social medias. So I have been posting more reels on my Instagram because I'm not ready to take the flicks. But when I go to Key West, baby, oh, the flicks is coming. The flicks is coming. I'm bringing the tripod and everything. Because I'm in a new city. I'm in a new state. Nobody knows who Cheyenne Downs is. This weekend, I have not done anything. I didn't even want to go get my nails done. But, baby, when it comes about me, I have to stay looking good at work. I haven't worked out. I haven't nothing. Like, I've been slacking off on the working out. I've been slacking off on eating right. And I can tell in my face, like, huh? If the body's not gonna let you know, the face will. Because literally, like, my face was slimming down. My girl had too many cookies, too much ice cream. I just feel like if I was never in the military, I would not critique my body as much as I do. And I hate that for myself, but that's what the marine corps does do literally my body is always on my brain literally before i go to sleep my brain makes sure i know what my body is looks like i think either i'm gonna make this a week vlog yeah i think i can make it a week vlog even though i'm not doing anything this week i literally just go to work that's what i'm trying to tell y'all like i'm trying to tell y'all my life is not entertaining i mean it's entertaining to me no it's not you're lying sometimes are entertaining like that's why i wasn't posting because it's like i don't know but i'm gonna just give the people what they want they said they want a week in my life boom i'm gonna give y'all this week in my life saturday march march 18th i could have sworn it was just the 8th where's time going i'm gonna turn 21 girl you're going too fast i turned 21 in july y'all what are we doing what are we doing for the birthday what are we doing i don't know so i know i'm having a photo shoot like i am giving 21 but yeah i don't know y'all give me some ideas though because i have to go i have to do a big one but i'm home um i'm gonna talk to y'all when i get in the house okay y'all already know who wine is so let's not act like we don't know who wine is we're gonna go grocery shopping and then we're gonna go eat seafood see y'all at walmart okay we're at walmart now Ew, that's yeah, so that cringe. Was, yeah. <laughs> there was a shirt that says straight out of Buford. Who would want to wear that? Comment down below if y'all eat people I'm not gonna get them because I don't think I'll eat this whole bar, but if my sisters were here, we will kill this. The Walmart lady. Yeah. She was pissing me the fuck off. Like, and it wasn't like, oh, she has a camera. I'm interested. No, it was like, they about to steal. 
Like, uh. And then the fact she was a black lady. Like, how you gonna profile us? She wasn't in the view of the camera since the camera was, um, like, doing the little beep, 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 beeps. There was to a point where she paused and, like, just stood behind us acting like she was waiting for us to move so she could sweep our spot. Girl, you didn't want to sweep until you saw us pull up. We're at um, this place called Hook and Grill in Beaufort, South Carolina. I was going to do two clusters, snow crab, the shrimp, and then the crawfish. Okay. Could I do the original Cajun? Let's dive in. It's like really hot. I would hate to be a crab. Like, they're just so good for no reason. It's like all that work for crawfish just to get this. Come on, bye. Yeah, we're leaving now. Guess the price down below and I'll tell y'all when we get home. Uh, we've been home for about like two hours now. But the total was $140. Three and 56 cents, I think. While my camera was dead, I just straightened up and then I edited a uh, video, the game night video. However, I don't know if y'all are gonna see that. Um, I'm about to go get in the shower and then by the time I get out, it should be like 1.30 ish. So me and Corey are gonna watch a movie and that should wrap up my Saturday, now Sunday morning. Bye bye. <laughs> For sure, but what I do know for sure is that my husband's call is just yeah. have to continue that. Yeah, just, yeah I'm like, okay, I she, you know, talk through. I want to be more intentional with my time because this weekend, like, I really did nothing. I probably spent like five consecutive hours. No, it had to be more than five, just flipping through the different social medias on my phone. I was on these dry spouts of not editing because I don't want to sit there and edit but then like I'll watch a video that really inspires me to like get back and edit this one was my sister's two hour video I think it was vlog number 15 that one inspired me to start back editing and when I'm like determined or inspired or motivated whatever you want to whichever verb you want to use I can literally finish a video in like either one sitting or a day and a half and I find that crazy because I'll be like oh my god I just don't want to sit there and do it and then I do it and I'm like there's no reason why I'm not posting every single week but then I run into like not having anything to film and then I start filming videos like this so it's like I don't know I feel like I don't get a lot of feedback from y'all so it's like when I go ghost it's like Oh, nobody's really like wondering where I am like the only person who I know will be like girl where you at is Larry Bell cuz he'll like DM me on Instagram this weekend definitely was my most non-productive weekends and that's okay not every weekend has to be productive but I just want to be intentional with my time so if I'm going to be scrolling on all of these social medias that I either need to be getting ideas of what my next reel is going to be. I caught myself like being on all these social medias and I'm like, you're not doing anything productive on these social medias. You're watching other people get money. So it's like, okay, let's get to it. Good afternoon to y'all, but good morning to me. Getting ready for work. I need like a protein treatment for my hair because baby, these edges are starting to thin out. This bun's a little questionable, but you know, we all have our days. Yeah, I'm gonna finish getting ready and stuff. If I talk to y'all before I leave, I'll talk to y'all before I leave. If I don't, I'll talk to y'all. Technically tomorrow, because that's when I get off. We're gonna see how to reheat a seafood boil. I'm going TikTok, because TikTok gonna give me a more straightforward answer than Google. So basically, you want this little water to boil. 
Okay, all the TikTok saying take a pot of water, boil it, and place the bag in there. Got the water boiling. Uh, hot water. And I'll throw it in her too. If this works, I am never throwing away another seafood boil again. I don't even know what to do. How do I handle this? So let's go to the sink. So basically, I'm going to tell you a story, and it relates to the dream. When COVID first happened, a lot of us high schoolers remember it because it was our very last time being in high school. March 13th, 2020, some might think March 12th, but March 13th was the last day that I was in school. I was captain of the soccer team that year. That was my senior year. I don't know what was going on in my mom's life. It's like as soon as COVID hit, a foot switched in her, and I really can't remember what started the argument, but... I just know that she was just really upset. This doesn't justify what she did, but the way that she dealt with her anger was she took our lights, she took our sheets and our covers, or like she took mine. She took the door off my, off the hinges on my room. She put zip locks in a thing that you use to lock your gun case. Like I'll put up a picture um, on the refrigerator so we couldn't go in the refrigerator. And we basically had to ask her for food and stuff like that she wasn't feeding us like on a regular basis like it wasn't something that was just like oh i'm gonna lock up the refrigerator but i'm still gonna feed y'all like three times a day no it was not that like the main thing me and my sisters had that my mom gave us was noodles and i think peanut butter and jelly but that was like one time the main meals that me and my sister survived off is the meals that my friends gave us at the time so um after saying that i just wanted to say if any of the girls that i went to high school with that helped me and my sisters out i really want to say thank you because we were just kids and you know like having y'all put food in my mailbox and put food in the drawstring bag that i threw out my window um it does mean a lot and i really hope that life is treating y'all good because like literally me and my sister survived solely off of you guys so i just want to say thank you if you're watching this um and yeah so one of my friends gave us this big bag of pancake mix that's all me and my sisters ate was freaking pancakes but we will always eat it when my mom wasn't home so which was not a lot because mind you it was like covid literally just first happened everybody thought we were fucking dying so we didn't get to eat the pancakes a lot, but my friend also gave us like little snacks to have. Yeah, so basically she took away our necessities to live. But what I think what scarred me the most and why I'm still healing from it from this day is when that moment was happening, I don't think me and my sisters looked at it the way we were supposed to. Like my mom, like if you've been an OG watcher, you know, like I don't, 
communicate with my mom. I made that vow to myself like a long time ago that if she was still the same person that she was when I was high in high school that we would not be in communication. And I know a lot of people are like, but that's your mom, that's your mom. If y'all understood the, like this story should be more than enough to for y'all to understand where I'm coming from. Me and my sisters, we didn't look at it the way we were supposed to. So during that whole time, like, we were laughing, giggling. So I dropped a lot of weight and I think that's what started my body dysmorphia. I was very, very skinny. I'll put a reference video on the screen. I was very, very, very skinny. I think I was on the brink of anorexia. Like, I, like I'm not saying that as a playful thing. I honestly think it's true because I was still working out. I was still doing sit-ups and push-ups. And anything I could do in my room, I was still trying to do it. Because it's like I wasn't satisfied with how skinny I was. And now, looking back at it, it's the three-year anniversary of that. And it's really taking a toll on me more than it usually did. I think it's taking a toll on me more because of this dream that I had. Basically, the dream was me looking at the whole situation, but from, like, a ghost perspective. So, like, seeing how me and my sisters, like, joked around about it. Because my mom's behavior was so, that behavior was so normal to me and my sisters. So, we just thought it was another, like, fluke in her you know her attitude or whatever so we didn't see the severity of it but the dream was me looking from a outside perspective so it hurt so bad because it was like me my adult self looking at my childhood self dealing with stuff like this and so the dream really brought back all the emotions and stuff like that so basically that's what the dream was about i wish it never happened but it's like who i am so i don't know it is really like, I like I'm about to cry, but I'm about to go work out. I think I got time for that. Different world, different cases, different places, different faces that I've seen. Out of all the places that I've been, nothing tops the Medellin before the world became a meme. Before we were a thing, we used to fantasize about our biggest dreams. Hearts collide, paramedics hit the scene. Just another casualty. I know you okay I just finished and it was intense as hell we finished six of those sets the goal was 10 and 30 minutes but once we started doing it that seemed unrealistic it's already 110 which if I put two and two together I don't think I'm gonna have time to cook yes I am if I make time I just need to make time I need to be intentional with my time I just it sucks that I have to go to food line though like, if the meat was already thawed, I wouldn't have to go to food line, but now I have to go to food line. Good morning, y'all. It is now Tuesday, March 21st, but I'm gonna go to the gym. Y'all, this uh, pre workout went straight to my booty hole. What is this on my shirt? Toothpaste? For my warm up today, we're gonna do the last four sets of my workout from yesterday. to get down there there is another alley good morning y'all it is wednesday now okay good morning y'all ah, it is thursday and these people got me up here up early as fuck when i woke up y'all 
I was immediately so fucking angry. Because let me tell y'all about medical and the military. People be like, oh my god, you get free medical, free dental. And I know this is a first world problem. But let me complain, okay? Don't be no don't be no warrior in them comments, okay? For medical, I scheduled this appointment two weeks ago. That should just tell you right there. Like if something's wrong with me, you don't have the luxury to get an appointment in a timely manner. And then, when you get the appointment, it's way out of your schedule. Because the doctor that we have only has morning a morning appointments. But I'm like, baby, we don't just have morning, like, jobs. Like, you have people who go to home at 3 o'clock in the morning, and you want them to wake up fucking four hours later? Like, what? Y'all. I got off work late last night, and that usually does not happen. Now, I'm gonna be late to this appointment, and honestly, I could care less. My appointment is in four minutes, and I could care less, and they'd be quick to cancel your appointment. Cancel my goddamn shit. I mean, I'm still gonna go because my back hurt, and I need proof that I went. They need to be more aware of the people's time that they're taking away. Like, baby, I'm sleepy, and I still gotta go to work. And I still gotta go to work! That's what I'm saying. Ooh, they finna cancel my shit. But I need to go because my back been hurting. Did I tell y'all why I'm going? My back been hurting. Ooh, they called me three times. Mm-hmm. Hi. Hi, uh, is this uh, Corporal Downs? Uh, Corporal Downs, yeah. Corporal, my bad. Uh, this is H1 Baron over at the clinic. How you doing this morning? I'm doing good. I'm getting on base right now. Okay, cool. I was going to say, I know your appointment's at 10.50, but if you're able to come in right now, we got time so we can knock it out. Oh, you said it's at 10.50? Yeah, but we're ready for you now. Oh, I thought that it was at 10.10, but thank you. I thought I was running late. <laughs> nah, you super early, and I'm okay with that. Okay, I'm I'm getting on base right now. All right, I'll see you in a minute. All righty, bye. Bye. And I'm over here complaining. Stop complaining all y'all life. I am so dead. Hello. Thank you. You did all that complaining for what? And he was nice. I hate when people are nice and I'm trying to be me. Well, I guess, you know, there's always... They do say the early bird gets the worm. I got that goddamn worm. No, I'm nervous to bring y'all in this, in this facility. And it's facilitation. I hate when only the middle pillar and pillar are open. Because, like, why? What are we doing here? Because I can't pillar apart. But I'm going to try it. No, you're not. Because <laughs> I'm not. Because I'm not. I'm not. I'm going to be sitting there all day. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ooh, that was funny. You're funny. <laughs> you're funny. Should I park in a handicap since my back hurt? Yeah, I, I, you didn't have to say it out loud. I heard it in my head. The people who say they don't talk to themselves, you're a liar. You're a liar. That boy's a liar. Ooh, I'm so close to that goddamn car. Y'all, I can't park for shit. I'm surprised I haven't. I, we're not going to finish. That's intense. I'm never going to do that because I am an excellent driver. Piriana. I want to know where I got that from. Piriana. Like, I know I didn't. I'm not that creative to get it for myself. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, I'm not running late, but anyways. All right, I'm gonna see y'all in, in the doctor's office. Hey, Hello. good morning, how's it going? That Hi. is a very nice camera. Thank you. Here we got a photographer. Uh, videotaping, I'm a YouTuber. I'm filming a week in my life. So. Oh, awesome, cool. We're dealing with some lower back pain, correct? Yes. How long, how long has this been going on? Noticed it like a month and a half ago. The pain is low glass to your lower back. We're not shooting into your lower extremity, nothing on your toes, no yeah. loss of bowel or bladder function, correct? No. What yours sounds a lot like is what we call a sacroiliac dysfunction. Mm -hmm. Sacrum is your lower back, it's your tailbone. Iliac is actually the iliac crest of your where your hips connect there. And sometimes just, you know, uh, excess activity that causes them to grind or get your hips. Sometimes your muscles get tight and get your hips stuck in a place. Mm -hmm. So you get that dull achy. And the big thing is we just need to get the, the correct the movement of your hips to get the pain to go away. Okay. This 
You're, you're pretty well aligned. Your right is a little higher than your left. What I want you to do is I want you to slowly touch your toes for me. Your right significantly moved where your left is just stuck right there. Okay. Hips are misaligned. At least that's very common cause. It's just this dull, achy pain where it's like, I think a chiropractor, just to adjust everything back into place okay. and get it stable would be best for you. Okay. Okay, y'all, I'm back. I just got good ass now. Okay, so let me tell y'all. Let me tell y'all. So I'm going to Key West in a couple weeks, and y'all are going to see that preparation vlog very, very soon. When I tell y'all in my brain, in this tiny pea-sized brain, I think I'm going to the Bahamas. Like, you can't tell me I'm not going to the Bahamas. So that's how I'm planning, to go to the Bahamas, okay? But the crew I was going with, ass and titties, bruh. But now my crew is switched, and I got some good people on my crew! Yes, because one thing about me, baby, like, I love when a crew flows like milk and honey. Like, get all the work done, then we can chill. But I hate being the only one doing the work. And now that I'm a corporal, I'd be damned if I'm the only one doing the goddamn work. I'm not that corporal that lets their lanes to do everything while I sit on my ass. Like, it is a very much even divide of work. Like, the lances I have right now, chef's fucking kiss. I, ugh. I don't love them, but like literally, I don't think they understand how much they make my life easier. And I'm gonna be so excited. I'm gonna be on the beaches. The vlogs, y'all, stay tuned to the motherfucking vlogs. The vloggy vlogs. I'm gonna talk to y'all tomorrow because that's all my Thursday. I'm going to work and the sun is in y'all eyes and I'm sorry. I'll talk to y'all tomorrow, the last day of this vlog. Hey y'all, it is the last and final day of this vlog, but I'm gonna be so for real with y'all. The day is over with. I did zero. I mean, I washed clothes, but that's pretty much it. But it is 8.29, and I'm about to cook dinner. And I know most of y'all have already had dinner this time. But me and Corey stay up until around 3 a.m. because we work night crew. But I'm going to be making some shrimp and sausage alfredo. I'm just going to tell y'all the update of the last time I talked to y'all. Just update y'all on that. So I found out that I'm going to be going to Florida this upcoming week. Um, it is the 25th and I leave in two days. Um, I'm, that's why I'm washing clothes to make sure I have enough clothes for my trip. I'm going to be going to an air show so I'm sure I'll be able to record so that's going to be fun. I'm going to be in Lake Show, Florida. I'll be there for a week so when I come back I'll start my prep for Key West, Florida. Your girl took a trip, period. It's for the military, but I still consider it um, trips. Today was the first day I tried one of the lid lidocaine patches. And so far, I would say I see a difference, but I don't know if it's a placebo effect. I honestly, I'm not sure. She's so different. She's so different. I haven't started ordering clothes for Key West yet. Just because I'm still working on losing a couple of pounds before I go and buy stuff. If you made this far in the vlog, I want you to comment down below. Intentional with your time. Oh my god, y'all. Let me tell y'all. My eye has been twitching since the end of the last week. It is twitching right now. And what I thought it was, I thought because I work a desk job, that it was just me, um staring at a computer screen for too long but my eyes my eye twitches when I'm at home like I don't know Google says that I got a brain tumor so did somebody call Dr. Shepard shut the fuck up you thought you ate that <laughs> the freaking outro for the video will not load because I don't have any more storage but if you come this far in the video make sure you like if you like type of content comment down below if you want some more and subscribe to your girl for filling my vibes because I'm feeling yours too and I'll see y'all in the next motherfucking vlog y'all I'm back dating a lot of vlogs this was filmed in March I think so it's a lot of back dating but just give me some time bye